Hi, this is Mark with your weekly analysis for the week commencing the 14th of November. Uh, our experiment of placing trades from weekly charts analysis is doing rather well. We are in at the end of our third week and we have grown our 50,000 account by 5%. Uh, it should have been more last week. I made a simple stupid mistake. and uh, What I'd said is we were looking for a long on the British pound at 160 with a stop at 159.45 and I was tired and it was late and I had a lot of orders to place and I went and put 159.95 and that then went on 200 and odd pips. However, things happen, we make mistakes. Uh, this is the chart for the week ahead and last week I was looking, thinking in terms of up here for a possible short. I am now thinking of a long at 160 uh, with a stop at 159.45 and do it properly this week. Last week it came down to within six pips of my stop, so it was a good place. Uh, for shorts, I am thinking in terms of now to short at this 78.6 fib area, uh, with a previous area of support and resistance as well, uh, and I will be looking to place my stop just above the 1.6300 area. This is the Euro USD on a weekly. Uh, it price came back and broke below the huge, important 140 area on. Uh, back end of last week and we have now the areas I am interested in I am interested to short at 140 or just below because of the trend line because of the huge uh, resistance area and I suspect that this Bollinger Band is likely to close to confirm a downward movement as well where is it going to stop well there is a lot of talk on the wires about the problems with the Irish banks and Irish government needing to be bailed out the euro could tank this week but if it's going to stop anywhere it's going to be round here at 13500 area we have got 50% fib of the weekly move we have got monthly emas here we also have uh, these weekly EMAs as well. There's a load of things going on here. If it does break through here and, and starts to close below, and it closes below on a daily candle, then I will start thinking in terms of shorting during the week. Now, if the euro is going to go down, then we, as we know, the Swissy goes in the opposite direction. I will be looking to short the Swissy this time at 1000, the whole number. But what we have to be careful here is we do not take correlated pairs. And what I mean by that, if the Swiss is going up, the euro is going down 90% of the time. So, whichever fires first, you need to cancel the second order. This is the euro pound on a weekly. Now, we picked this up perfectly the other week. We looked for an entry up here at 8,900 for a potential short. Part of the reasoning was 78.6 fib. There was also support and resistance and EMAs in the area as well. Uh, the other thing is what we need to be doing with this weekly experiment, we need to be scaling out and leaving some of the trade to run because this balance of this trade is now 440 pips in profit and that is less than a month. Now I was out way back up here 8600. So we need to be thinking in terms of scaling out as well, more scaling out. This is gold and I've shown you recently how important gold is to the Aussie dollar. And generally, if the Aussie dollar, the gold is going up, so is the Aussie dollar. Gold last week started to stall. It hit its highest point ever and turned back down. And this is the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, these are tram lines. This is indecision, possible turnaround. And I think it's this pair. This is a monthly chart. Now, obviously, this candle is not valid until it closes. But if this candle pattern stays the same, this is a shooting star reversal at the top of a major move which could signal that the Aussie dollar is going to fall a long way. So we're going to be looking for that come the end of the month, but it is a clue at the moment that the Aussie dollar may be due a run back down again. So areas to look for. I am looking for a short at 1.00 and with my stop above. I think I went down to the daily for this because otherwise, there we go. Here we were looking here, 1.0055 as a stop, uh, and if not for longs, if price is to come back down here, we have the trend line, we have 96.50 was a very strong uh, support and resistance area, 96.50 with my stop just below 96. I will put the right up in the note for all the stops. Dollar yen, a bit wary with this now. We've been looking for weeks for 8300 as a pullback. Uh, it is pulling back to there, but it is starting to look a little bit bullish. Because of my doubts with the yen, I am going to be careful. I'm going to drop the euro yen this week because the euro yen and the Aussie dollar yen are correlated. Uh, and 
I had to do that during the week as well. This is the Aussie dollar yen. And the Aussie dollar yen, I am more interested in this because of this area here. This is a monthly area, 79.80. We've got the 50% weekly fib just above it. We have got these weekly EMAs. There is also some daily EMAs down there as well, 55 and 200 as well. Uh, I can't think now. For the monthly, there's nothing. But that is, of the yen pairs, that is the one I fancy the most. I will either be looking to short up here at 84.24 area, or I will be looking to long down here at 79.80. As I say, I'm going to ignore the euro yen. USD yen, the only area really still I'm interested in is 8300. I may go half stake on this. I say I'm a little bit wary that this may be due a bigger pullback. Final one is the CAD. Uh, last week I was showing you that counter trend traders would be considering a long at one for one, uh, which is where price was anyway. Uh, it's not for me. I prefer prefer to trade with the trend. But had you taken that last week, then that did go 130 odd pips up here. For next week, I am only interested to short again, and I will be interested to short at 1.02120. 1.2120. Area. So that's the area for me. It's a trend line. It's an intersection of a previous support and resistance. Uh, that would be the area for me. And once more, counter trend traders would be interested to long should it get back down here. It's going to be tricky this week. There's this problem with the Irish bank situation. November last year, there was a major fall on the euro USD. Uh, it does seem to be leading the way rather than it just being dollar strength. Uh, but it's, it's a potential problem with the EURUSD, so you need to trade carefully. Have a good week.